Let's look at enums in Rust. In this video, I'll explain how to declare and create enums, how to attach attributes. In this example, I'll show you debug and partial equal. And we also take a look at the two most common enums used in Rust, option and result. Let's start by creating an enum. Enums are custom data that we can declare to represent finite state or some finite possible values. For example, if we wanted to create a data type that represents color, and this color can only have a certain value, let's say red, green, and blue, then here's how you would do it. You would declare an enum, let's call this color. And the possible values are red, green, or blue. So this is an enum in a traditional sense. However, in Rust, you can do more. For example, we can create an enum with parameters. So let's create a value that represents RGBA. Red, green, blue, and alpha. RGBA. Red, green, and blue can take up the values from 0 to 255. So this can be represented as a U8. Okay, so this will be for green as well and for blue as well. And alpha will be a number from 0 to 1. So let's represent this as F32, float32. Another way to represent color is by hexadecimal string. So we can say hex and then say string. We can also make it look like a struct. For example, let's say HSL and then say H is u8, s is u8, and l is also u8. So these are several ways to create an enum. You can simply declare it like a constant as red, green, and blue without taking any parameters, or you can create an enum that takes in parameter, for example, rgba and hex, or you can create like a struct. So this is how you would declare an enum. Let's now initialize it inside our main function. So you might say something like that color of type color is equal to say color colon colon red okay and another example we can say color we can omit the type since rust can infer the type and then say let's say green okay and let me show you an example of rgba so say rgba and inside this parentheses we'll need to put in four parameters three u8 and one float so say zero zero two five five and for the float, we can put in 0 0.1. And we can also do with hex. So say hex, and then put in a string. Let's say hashtag ff, 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 dot to string to change this string literal into a string. Okay, and for the last example, using hsl, hsl. And this time, we'll need to create an enum, like a struct. So say for H, let's put a zero, for S, let's put a one, and for L, let's say 200. So these are several ways to create an enum that can take on many values. Let's now print this out. So to print this out, we'll say print L in. And let's use a debug feature to print the whole enum. Curly braces, question mark, curly braces, and then we'll print the last color that was created. Now, if we try to see this, you'll see a compilation error saying that color doesn't implement debug. So this is where I introduce you how to add an attribute of debug to this enum. To do this, you'll type hashtag brackets derive. Inside parentheses, you'll type debug. So this is declaring to Rust auto generate some code that handles debugging so that when we do print ln with this for the color, it is able to print this enum nicely. Let's give it a try. Inside my terminal, I'll type cargo run dash dash pin enum. Okay, and then this is the enum that is printed. Next, let's take a look at partial equal. Partial equal. So what if we wanted to compare two enums? For example, let's say we wanted to color green and red. Is color dot red equal to color dot green? Are they equal? And let's try to print this out. Are they equal? Print ln. And when I try to save this, Again, there is a compilation error. Let's try to see the details of why it fails to compile. Try to execute the code, and we see over here that enum color must implement partial equal. This is because in order to compare enums, we need to attach an attribute called partial equal on our enums. So inside here, we'll say partial equal. Okay, and then you can see that the error goes away. So let's try printing this out. If we compare red with green, then this should be false. And if we compare red with red, this should be equal to true. Execute the code and we get false and then true. Next, I'm gonna talk about the two most common enums that is used in Rust, option and result. And let's start with option. An option is an enum that can take on two values, either sum 
and inside this parentheses you'll have some kind of value. For example, if it's a U32, then it will have some number, let's say 11. Or if there's no value, then this enum will return a none. This is a useful enum to use when you're dealing with fetching data from an array. Instead of directly accessing the array element by index, if you do so and if the index is out of bounds, then the code might panic. Instead, you can try to get an element from an array and then returning the option. If the index is a valid index, meaning that the index is within the bounds, then it will return some with that number inside. However, if the index is out of bounds, then it will return a none. So that is one example, and I'll show you this example in more details in another video. For now, let's see how to create an enum of type option. Let's start with the simple case. Let's say that x of type option of let's say i32 is equal to the simple one is none. It has no value, hence it is equal to none. How about if there's some kind of value? Let's say that x of type again of option i32 equals sum, and then let's put in some number, let's say minus 11. Okay, and we can print this out too. Print ln, and then say option. Execute the code, and we get that option is equal to sum with minus 11. Next, let's take a look at result. Result is kind of like an option, and it represents whether something was successful. In this case, it will return OK, and inside this parenthesis, it will return the result. For example, for now, let's say OK of number 10. Otherwise, it will return an error with the error message inside. For example, let's put in a string. And to make this a little bit more concrete, let's imagine the case of dividing some number by another number. If you try to divide one number by zero, then usually programs will crash. You cannot divide a number by zero. In this case, this will return an error. For example, let's say div by zero. Otherwise, if it is a valid division, then it will return OK with the result of the division. If you divided, let's say 10 divided by 2, then this will be OK of 5. Let's see how to create it. Let's say that res of type result, let's say u32 for the OK case, and the type that goes inside the error will be a string is equal to, let's say, OK of 5, and that res of, again, result u32, error type is string, is error.div by 0, dot to string. Let's print this out. I'll just copy this, and then change this into a result. Print res. Execute the code again, and we get that the result is error div by 0. So these were some examples of how to create an enum in Rust, and I also showed you the two most common enums that is used in Rust, options and results.